Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we could talk about some of the struggles relating to being diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. BPD is a heavily misunderstood mental health condition. Personally I remember when I was first diagnosed with borderline personality disorder I was in crisis all the time and I phoned the crisis team pretty much every day and it never really helped. Crisis teams are shit. BPD has caused me so many problems over the years. It ruined most of my relationships with people. Basically took over my life. But what are the struggles of BPD? The main struggle is getting help or support. I had three different care coordinators when I lived in South West London. And none of them helped. BPD is a very complicated disorder and honestly members of the NHS staff in the community setting they just don't want to deal with it. Like I'd get to appointments about my, my mood and they'd just talk about bipolar, my PTSD, my eating disorder, my anxiety but never BPD. They never mentioned BPD. I only found out I got diagnosed with BPD because a psychiatrist wrote it in a letter. No one said anything to me about even being assessed for borderline personality disorder. I find it's one of the hardest disorders to live with because professionals don't want to help. We're seen as attention seekers time wasters when in reality we're just struggling personally I'm in a much better place than I was before and I have got it under control now I don't act on my impulsiveness I don't impulsively do things anymore but those years that I did struggle I never had any help it's just really sad to think about how little support people with BPD get I, th there is such thing as personality disorder pathways. Who do we see actually getting off of these things? Honestly, I genuinely feel like professionals just don't give a shit about people with BPD. When we act impulsively, we need support. Not told, oh, just don't do it. Urges don't work that way. When we're suicidal, we need you to listen to us. If someone was there to just listen to us, I could guarantee there would be less suicide attempts in people with borderline personality disorder if we had someone that would listen to us. When I tried to phone the crisis team when I was suicidal, I got hung up on multiple times. I recorded one because I, I suspected it was going to be the one that was hung up on me. And I wanted proof that this was what he was doing to me, so I recorded the phone call and it was, it was like, it doesn't seem like they're being challenged. I, I was crying and I said, I spent years trying. And he said, okay, bye. Yes, borderline personality disorder is a complex disorder, but you also have complex care treatment teams. I used to be on the complex care treatment team. So it's not like there's not the resources available. It's just they're not used. I see it on Instagram all the time. People saying they're reaching out for help and then police turning it up and it's really unnecessary. Just because someone's suicidal doesn't mean they need to go to hospital. Suicidal thoughts come and go. The only reason you need to go to hospital with suicidal thoughts is if you're thinking of acting on them. It's the intent. Personally, I don't ring. I won't ring a crisis team if I'm struggling. Because I have very little respect for them. I call a charity helpline called Shout, which I'll put on screen now. Basically, shout or a charity organisation that you can text. This is UK only, so sorry if you live in another country. I don't know helplines abroad. But I do have some links in the description down below. 
When I was first diagnosed with BPD, all I wanted was someone to listen. My mum didn't understand it, my grandparents didn't understand it. It was just a diagnosis that nobody knew anything about. Which is the reason I make videos. I make videos to raise awareness for things like borderline personality disorder. But also PTSD, bipolar, other mental health conditions as well. It's a really hard disorder to live with. And like I said, some of the struggles are that staff don't care. They don't listen. You're left to your own devices. And there's not enough support. Because self-help shit only works if you're ready to put in the effort. And if you're struggling with suicidal thoughts, you don't want to be sitting reading documents for hours. I think one of the things that has helped me overcome my borderline personality disorder a bit is my medication. So those who don't know, I take haloperidol uh, 10 milligrams a day. I take clonazepam 0.5 milligrams twice a day. I take Vortioxetine 20 milligrams at night. I take Trazodone 50 milligrams at night. I take Lithium 1000 milligrams at night. I take a lot of medication, which I know it's, it's a lot, but it helps me get on with my life. I'm able to go to university and sit through a four and a half hour lecture. Which I just, I've never been able to do. I've always struggled and I've always had to take time out of lectures to refocus. But I'm still allowed to use the autistic lounge at uni. They have a sensory room. So there's that. Which I think is pretty cool for a university to have. Honestly, studying at Met Film School has been amazing. Anyway, back on the topic of the video. There are so many struggles of having borderline personality disorder. You never know what's going to hit you next. You never know if you're going to be happy or sad. You never know if you're going to be suicidal or not. You might be impulsive that day. Someone might have left your life so you're dealing with abandonment issues. Then there's the trauma of how you've been treated. Because we're forgetting BPD stems from trauma. slash unstable homes it just needs more awareness and more support if staff weren't so afraid of dealing with borderline personalities or the, the, it would decrease all the suicide attempts we often attempt suicide, in BPD especially, we attempt suicide because we don't know what else to do. Death feels like the only option. So we take an overdose, we try to hang ourselves, we do whatever we're going to do to end our lives. Sometimes luck has it and we're saved. Other times we lose people to suicide. Which isn't right. Professionals need to bulk up and actually start dealing with the issues at hand. I genuinely do blame professionals in this because they don't help enough, because they're afraid of the diagnosis. That's all I've got for this video. I hope it made some sense. And if you do have EPD and you are struggling, feel free to reach out to me and I'm happy to talk. 
but please remember I'm not a professional and don't send triggering content to my Instagram DMs please. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Have to put that a little bit because I don't want to get triggered.